Uh, hi guys in the last video we'll talk about the permutations and we talk about uh, example where we have uh, six people and uh, who are trying to sit on three chairs so we have one two and three chairs right one two and three chairs and we were wondering how uh, many different ways they can sit and we come up with a formula that they can sit uh, for the first chair they have a uh, six options for the second chair we have five options and for the third chair we have four options um, if you don't understand this concept you can always go back to our previous video we talk about the permutation formula so all we have to do is multiply them together and that give us um, uh, a permutation formula which is again can be written as 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 divided by 3 into 2 into 1 right so that can be written as uh, uh, 6 p 3 right because we have six people and they can sit in a three different ways so this is the permutation formula right now what happened in the combination in combination uh, we are not trying to have them sit on the chair so they are not sitting on the chair we are just looking how many ways six people can go in a group of three so group of three people so group so you want to make a group of three people and how many ways they can be grouped so so basically how many ways can they be grouped in three numbers right so so now if you if you look at the permutation we already calculated all the scenarios right we already calculated how many ways three people can sit on three different chairs now all we have to do is remove the possibilities which are similar for example now suppose if you're looking at a b and c right so now they are sitting at three chairs so one two and three right now these people can also sit in another way they can sit as a c and b they can also sit as b a and c they can sit as b c and a they can also sit as c a b or c b a so they can sit as a six different arrangements right so same number of people same group like a b and c we have like one possibility like this is this is one group and people in the one group can sit in six different ways so basically if we have the permutation we have to remove six of these ways and we have to count them as one so we have to count this six ways should be counted as one way so six permutation will be equal to one in combination right so so now if you look at this number of ways they can sit so how do you calculate number of ways so again the number of ways so now we have uh, uh, 3 into 2 is equal to 6 so now suppose if we have three people and they are sitting on a b c and they are sitting on three different chairs we have three two and one possibility so we have to multiply them and that will give me six right so basically you can calculate this using the factorial uh, formula right so all you have to do is you have to take the total number of permutation which is equal to 6 p 3 and you have to divide it by 3 factorial and that will give me the combination which is 6 c 3 so that's how you 
do the calculation so you calculate the same number of uh, same ways you calculate the permutation but you have to now remove the number of ways that combination can be arranged or you can also write it as total permutation divided by number of this uh, 6p3 can be written as 6 divided by I should write it as uh, 6 factorial divided by 6 minus 3 factorial and now if you have to write combination then 6 c3 can be written as 6 factorial divided by 6 minus 3 factorial and then we have 3 factorial so this is the formula for the combination so it's very important that before you understand or remember the formula you understand the concept of what basically the combination is and uh, in the next videos we'll talk about few of the problems so that this concept is more clear to you guys